Hey everybody, this is Joby, and today I'm in beautiful Clockwork City. I really love this place. To get here, all you have to do, let's say you're, let's say you're here in Deshaun or somewhere. All you have to do is press the left bumper, and you go all the way out. Now this is Artam. Over here is Cold Harbor, and then this would be Tamriel, and then this is Clockwork City. You highlight it. When it lights up, you press the right bumper, and there you are. When you first get here, there will only be one way shrine. And you just pour it here, and then ride all the way to the Brass Fortress, which is here, and then go inside, and then you can get the, you can get the way shrine for the Brass Fortress. Now, when you first get off of this way shrine, there's a person there. You can do the quest if you want to, and it'll take you back to Deshaun. Or you can even go from Deshaun in the cave. Uh, it's a little bit harder that way. I think the easiest way is just port here. Go to Way Shrine, port to this one, ride here. If you want to do the quest, go ahead and do it. If you like questing, the, the quests here are great. The story is awesome. And uh, in the end of the quest, you get a 150% two hour XP scroll. But it's character bound. So it has to be the character that you want to use it on. Well, you have to use it on that character. Now, in this area, there is a lot of stuff to do. Okay, so um, as soon as you come here, this is the Way Shrine, <laughs> which is without a doubt the coolest Way Shrine in the whole game. That is just awesome. And um, as soon as you get here, the dailies are already open, at least two of them. So this is the World Boss Daily talk to the clockwork facilitator and he'll give you um, quests that'll be like over here there's one world boss here and then the other world boss is up here one is a, like a gigantic robot and uh, it's pretty pretty hard I've never soloed it before I've always had help but it can be rough sometimes and then up here are these three giant wraith of crow things that are a little bit easier but still fairly hard it's best to do it in a group and then the delves will be over here and I believe over here I could be wrong I don't have it on this guy and this is the delve guy uh, well actually you do go into a place it's kind of this like uh, mechanical fundament place and you find oil for them and then you have to run around in the wild and find the uh, materials which are not called like enchanting or woodworking or cloth they, they have different names for them but they'll have little arrows on them he'll ask you to pick up a certain amount of them and bring them back to him of course and then you also have to go find something find the oil and go to different places it's all marked out you just use the zone guide thing and you can you can find it fairly easy. Now, there are two more uh, dailies that you can open from doing the quests. And that guy will appear here. He's he's the um, the crows. You might have seen the crows if you did Deshaun's public dungeon. They'll be in there and they'll tell you they need help. And every time you see him, he'll go, Crow friend! Sounds like he's calling you girlfriend. It's like hilarious. So... This guy, and uh, you can give him stuff, and, and uh, he just asks you to bring him things. And sometimes you'll even have it on you already, which is pretty good. You can give it to him. And um, the motifs from here are Apostle and Ebon Shadow. And like I said, I think Ebon Shadow is really good. I like it. It's that armor that I had my my Dragon Knight. It looks really, really metallic and gigantic it's really uh, the heaviest really cool it's always good to have all the motifs working on your way to be grandmaster crafter because you need 50 styles so you just do this guy gives them but uh these other quests you can get the motifs too and then there's another openable is that a word quest from this lady with the robot arms so disgusting and um Novice Holly, what you have to do, though, like, if you talk to her... I heard about what you've done. So she won't give me any jobs. Because you have to actually go and do... You just go to the Delve. And then when you go to the Delve, like, in your traveling around, so you can get this... 
quest and then get the world boss quest and then while you're out there traveling around you can see the delts and then just go in there and accept the quest from the person at the door go do the quest and then novice holly's quest will open up so with those four like once you if you do the quest line i know you don't have a lot of time if you're an eso plus person free trial person but i don't know maybe it'd be worth buying it this this dlc is i think it's really good uh, let's look at it store I sound like a commercial donor. DLC and then Clockwork City will be down here in the bottom. Yeah. 2,000 crowns. I think it's worth it. A lot of stuff to do. Now, another thing you can do is you can get a golden recipe. It's the citrus filet. And uh, you just go into the Slagtown Outlaws Refuge. And once you're in here, this is just one of those places that... Uh, if you have the Dark Brotherhood, that guy will be in here. And this guy's name is Bringolin. Don't give up on me yet, Kara. I think I'm getting close. Yeah. Now, if you uh, talk to this friend. gentleman, this dude come in like search of a hot meal. And he will ask really? you Mind to go get something solace. for him. Which he wants you to find to the Iron the Stalk face. mushroom, and then he wants you to steal like Salas so Ramathron's notes. Now, let's look where does he want us to go? Every meal, <laughs> forever. Yeah, it's just right there. I've done this a bunch of times, and uh, I did make a video about how to do it, but it's worth repeating because the recipe can be sold for about 50000 in a guild trader. If you try to post it in the chat, you're just going to get a lot of hate from everybody because those monkeys are just going to be like, just trying to make you mad. So just don't even do it. Uh, you can use it yourself for the citrus filet. It's a great recipe. You get, I think you get three recipes. One is golden, though. And the golden one is, uh, it used to be meta. People were using that like crazy. But it's real expensive to make. It takes like a perfect row. And then that's just, I don't know. I don't use it. Just like our Tam takeaway broth, I don't use it. And these people say the most hilarious stuff. He lines them up and all this stuff. But anyway, I'm not going to do the quest. Uh, I've done it before in another video. If you want to find it, you can just search Clockwork City in my, um, YouTube channel just search within my channel and then you'll find the video so anyway just go come in here talk to that guy straight off go do the four quests that he gives you and you'll get like new recipes if you're just starting out um, provisioner I think it's great recipes are always good and especially high quality ones so if you're if you are a starting out provisioner Go ahead and hunt it and then use it on that character. It's not bound. And then you can even do it with other characters. I've done it probably five times. Just like the Orsinium one. I've done the Orzaga's Bear Haunch one. Some of those other ones are good too. There's a Tank Food, Red Frogga, um, Delight or something like that. And it just gives you tons of health and health recovery. So that's really great. Not as good as a, you know, Bewitched Sugar Skulls, Pack Leader Broth, or Disastrously Bloody Mara. Those are really incredible you know super op foods but yeah so rosgarug and the facilitator will start you off on your quests on your dailies when you do those you get a pouch just like from everything else and inside there might be a motif so you can do that all in all i think clockwork city is a great place it's um it's interesting it's really fun and another thing um, if you go into this place, wait a minute, where is it? It's the mechanical fundament. No. There's a, there's like a wall where if you go in there, you get robot parts, you get those fabricant parts. And I think it's over here. There's a big wall. It's the reactor area. Even though I've never been wrong yeah. before, there's always a first time. Yeah. It's called the Reactor District. Hmm. Oh, yeah. but this is something that you might really want to do. The dummy that I have in my house, the precursor, comes from this. If you pick that up, the, uh, the bulletin board, well, can't even pick it up. 
interesting. Yeah, the game's been bugging out recently because uh, what was happening today, I was doing, uh, I've been doing the um, Southern Elsewhere quest and working on every character. I'm just going to get them all up there and have a box every single day from everyone. And I was on my wolf and trying to do it. And then when I'm inside Moonlit Cave, he won't appear. So I just logged out. Probably the same thing happened here. You just got to log out. Maybe delete your info. I don't know. But that's the one that you pick that up and you go around. Now, got to warn you, that's a couple hours of going to different places to find the parts. And you get the, the precursor 300K dummy. You can put that in a house. It's very fun little dummy I think so anyway just over here is where you'll find the two dailies that you can do with like no problem I, I mean if you're only ESO plus free trial ESO plus free trial I would suggest that you come here right into the fortress get those two dailies and go do them and then when you do the two dailies you know, see if you like the place. Ride around outside in the wild and see if you think this is a, a fun place or something that you would enjoy. Myself, I really like it. This is one of my favorite places. So I would say uh, Clockwork City and then Thieves Guild and Dark Brotherhood. Man, they're incredible. So as you can see, these people are all having trouble. This girl right here is trying to to get this thing. And uh, it's just not working. Hmm. Probably people being locked down. There's just so many people on the internet. It's a mess. So anyway, give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And please leave a comment in the comment section if there's anything you'd like to see. Or if you need help with anything in the game. Be glad to help you. Hit me up on Xbox One North American server. My name is Coyote. C-H-A-O-T-E-Y. Just the best thing to do is send me an in-game mail. I uh, I played with my good friend Sid Gee. I don't know how to say his last name, but we just call him Gil because his last name is French. So shout out to shout out to Gil. Went and did some dungeons. It was great fun. And uh, yeah, so if I'm in game and you hit me up and we'll go ride around and do dungeons or farm gear or just whatever you need to do. Have a good time. And until that time, let's get paid. <laughs>